Hello everyone, I am Vikram P. Maduri here. So on this uh, session, I am just going to discuss one, one particular question which normally comes up to me and I am in, I'm into this uh, software industry and into the SAP field particularly from almost 14 years now. And I have been asked this question very regularly like why, do the, why, why companies do not hire freshers for SAP jobs. So is it really true that uh, people, do, I mean the companies don't hire SAP freshers, like uh, is it true or is it just a myth? So I'm going to clear out that particular question in this session. So SAP jobs around, you know, uh, how many jobs uh, would normally come up every year? And how many how many freshers have been hired? So around ten thousand plus candidates are been hired uh, for SAP fresher jobs every year. So almost ninety percent of these jobs are either through campus recruitment or through employee reference programs. So remaining ten percent come, come through uh, off campus recruitments and uh, walk-ins. So they are they are not you know sometimes the walk-ins cannot be uh, can also be generalized uh, walk-ins. So this point is something which everyone who is trying as an uh, uh, trying for a job as a SAP fresher should understand that the SAP fresher jobs are not posted directly by the software companies online. And the reason for this is uh, it's been a very long time that I've seen any major company posting that requirements. Uh, in into the portals even though do the, they do that it is only of 10 percent of the of the candidates will be filled in that way like uh, you know you 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 seeing the requirement in the job portals and kind of stuff like that but most most of them 90 percent of them are recruited through campus recruitments and these uh, candidates will be in turn trained internally by the company organization or they also can conduct recruitments in such a way that if there are any SAP freshers in the in the in the in the colleges, they'll be hiring them. Or if it is an off-campus recruitment, they'll clearly mention that anybody who has got trained in SAP can come and uh, you know at, uh, apply for the jobs. Employee reference plays a major role in uh, you know recruiting all the SAP freshers because most of the companies prefer uh, taking up. Uh, employees on the reference basis so that like there is a reference uh, with whom they are coming and you know there is some credibility uh, through this uh, path so that's the reason they go for that and uh, i mean like uh, most of them also ask me like whether whether will they will there be any future if at all if i get into sap jobs if or if at all if at all let's say you are already working on sap and uh, uh, you just want to know whether uh, there will be a future for sap or you 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 continuously listen uh, about many 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 new technologies i'm going to discuss about that in the next slide so in that uh, you'll be confused like uh, you know whether uh, to be sustained in sap jobs for a longer term or not okay so let me first tell you the history of sap um, now sap ag was established in sap in 1972 and it's now called as sap se and it's world's third largest software company. Sometimes it's in the fourth position, sometimes in third position. So mostly in third position. So world's number one company in enterprise solutions. It's been always number one in the in the world for enterprise solutions continuously from almost 46 years now. So it has got 4,4,000 customers plus and they are increasing uh, every day. And these customers are not just small companies. They are almost major companies in the world. Uh, almost like, you know, uh, uh, Fortune 500 companies or, you know, even, even more than that. So we have all top companies in the world uh, are mostly customers of SAP. And we have SAP implementations going on continuously in in, in major companies uh, on a, on a regular basis. So around one lakh employees uh, work with SAP. So SAP itself is a company uh, in which one lakh employees will work. But other than that, we have fifteen hundred plus channel partners where we'll have SAP openings. For example, you have IBM. Uh, Deloitte, Accenture, these kind, this kind of companies, we have 1500 plus channel partners which hires uh, SAP professionals or SAP freshers as well. So revenue of this, uh, I mean, like if you take the revenue of the latest year, like 2017, 
the revenue was to 23.5 billion and the profit was 4.02 billion so this is one of the most profitable you know uh, software company uh, in, in 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 this time right now so with this we need to understand that it's a very credible uh, credible technology and very credible company if you if you get into sap software technologies you definitely will have future because any any technology you see which is uh, you know growing very fast will be sooner or later either will be taken over by sap or at least will be adopted by sap and they, they develop their own technologies let's let's look at some examples here so you have been you know hearing about cloud computing artificial intelligence machine learning deep learning data science data analysis uh, analysis so all these are the technologies which uh, you know most of the freshers would be uh, thinking of either joining or you might have learned it or you 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 are about to you are planning to learn it then all these technology all these concepts have been already imbibed into sap technologies and sap basically uses all these technologies for running major organizations major enterprises in the world uh, and let's say if you have ai artificial intelligence being used by uh, an individual in his uh, at his house it might be a luxury for example uh, instead of you know i switching on the uh, television uh, i'll be just saying that hey uh, just uh, switch on the television so or you you use siri uh, in in your iphone or say google google assistant in your in your in your android phone so these are all as uh, artificial intelligence which actually does not uh, it makes life easy but it does not you know save lives Kind of thing but in enterprises there are a lot of sectors where we artificial intelligence can immensely affect our uh, the way the business is being done uh, and uh, it, it's like i'll give you a couple of examples later uh, but i just want to tell you that all these technologies are already imbibed into sap and they are working together with uh, these technologies and uh, it's it's a it's a highly innovative company and you you get to know a lot of things and you have a stable organization stable uh, job but the only thing is if you if at all if you want to consistently prolong as an sap uh, sap field sap professional then the only thing that you have to keep in mind is you have to upgrade yourself on a regular basis so if you're not upgrading to the latest technologies uh, i'm sure you're going to at some point of time you're going to uh, you know uh, be uh, on on a backstage so uh, you know you, you know you might have to have a difficulty in your jobs as well so that's what I, I, I would like to tell you that there are a lot of lot of jobs in SAP and there are a lot of jobs in SAP fresher as well but the way which we we are we are trying to get the jobs uh, have to be you know uh, revisited and you have to rethink about it and need to think logically uh, why why we are not getting and also the subject wise also I I'd always um, I always uh, suggest uh, everyone who is coming as a fresher you have to be you know very very uh, you know aggressive in, in 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 acquiring the knowledge and doing uh, you know you should be a performer so i i don't think if if you are a good performer if you have very good knowledge in the subject and if you if you get into uh, you know if you search for uh, good opportunities and i don't think it it's a very difficult uh, task but you know uh, you, you just need to stop blaming someone or something like you know the industry is not good or i'm not getting the jobs you have to just think how to get it like you know you have to focus on it and i'm sure you're going to get it because i, I have gone through the same kind of situation 14 years back and when i was getting into sap yeah, as a fresher it was a tough time for me and i, I, I mean like uh, it's 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 a phase which you have to go through and you have to win uh, win that that's what i want to tell you because i am telling all these things because i just want to uh, make it very clear that it's one of the best career that you can have in the entire uh, that world so and thanks for watching this video if you like this video uh, share it and uh, do subscribe to our channel okay have a nice day and all the very best for your future